This is going to be the first video in a series of four about using the different kinds of fuel for a forge fire for blacksmithing. I'm starting the fire with charcoal, uh, wooden charcoal, because it catches fire easily and uh, provides good heat to start the burn of whatever fuel you're using afterwards. I'm using a gas torch to light the, the coals get some embers glowing and then turn on the air blast. This is the uh, bituminous coal that I'll be using for this video. And here you can see how the air blast has been turned on um, to get the embers to start glowing forming a, a, a nest of heat. coal. This is fairly fine coal. And we'll s just spread this around the, the fire. Bituminous coal needs to turn into coke first and you can tell that this is happening by the smoke it um, emits. This thick smoke is the volatiles sulfur among other substances that have to evaporate first before um, only coke is left which is mostly carbon then and that's what you really want to forge with. It takes some time so we're turning the air blast all the way up um, to speed this up. using an air duct fan for this purpose as a forge blower. It's really quiet compared to the forge blowers you normally hear. So that's nice. The fire nest has been established. And there's some coke inside now. So we can start heating some steel. You can see that there's very little air coming into the fire right now. There's not a lot required. difference between full blast and all the way off. So we're just turning it up ever so slightly. The terminus coal doesn't require a lot of air to keep going as opposed to for example coke, um, industrial coke, which takes a lot of air to keep burning. You can see the fire nest has formed, the coke has coked and baked around the core of heat. There's a surprise buzzard being chased by two crows. Sorry for the defocusing. So now that the fire nest has been established, we've heated some steel and we could start forging. I'm just upsetting a piece of 16 mil bar here. We're trying to <coughs> cut it a bit short, but yeah. Um, this heated up in about a minute or so, so uh, you don't really need a, a ton of heat if you just need a small piece. Um, a small fire will do. That way you can have the coke, as you can see, in the middle there's the, the coked coal, very little air coming into it. So we have a nice compact fire that's not wasting any fuel. It's still providing enough heat for us to heat our piece. I've spread some um, fines around the, the core of the fire to insulate and uh, help it bake together, forming a nice uh, fire nest. This is after the air blast has been turned off for one hour. Um, because this is green coal or bituminous coal, um, just turning the air blast back on will return you to a, an operable fire within a couple of seconds. 
doesn't go out as easily as coke fires do, which would have been extinguished after an hour of no air. Green coal smolders for a lot longer, so it's easier to restart the fire. And after about 30 seconds or so, you're back at portable fire and ready to, to start working again. Stay tuned for the next one.